Yo, what's up, y'all? B Dub the Anime Master is back for another anime discussion. Today's anime, Yu Yu Hakusho. New anime, new ideas. Intro start. B Dub the Anime Master. 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 Dragon Ball Z the Anime Master. Here we go, the Anime Master. So, Yu Yu Hakusho, a classic anime and manga series from the early 1990s, created by Togashi, who also does the Hunter x Hunter manga. Now, before I get started, yes, I know uh, Togashi has to finish Hunter x Hunter first. You know, he's been playing around for a long ass fucking time. I know he's, he be ill from time to time, but let's keep it real, folks. He be playing fucking Dragon Quest. That's like the running joke going around the anime world. But anyway, uh, hopefully Togashi does finish Hunter x Hunter because that shit is just fucking brilliant and amazing. But right now, let's talk about one of his earlier works. Next famous work, you know, next to Hunter x Hunter, Yu Yu Hakusho. Now, in my personal opinion, Yu Yu Hakusho had a great ending for the manga and the anime. But there were some things that I feel like they could have expanded on and they didn't really give a chance or have a chance to do it. So here are the things. If they do a brand new Yu Yu Hakusho kind of anime series, like no manga, Togashi's behind it, he does the writing, kind of similar to Akira Toriyama's Dragon Ball Super where he's not doing no manga, but he's doing, you know, he's pretty much the story editor and the writer uh, and overseeing the arcs and the progression of the series. Kind of do that with Yu Yu Hakusho, brand new animation, brand new style, and continue from where the original manga and anime left off. And here's where I'm gonna, you know, get into full discussion. Okay, the series ended with Yusuke uh, coming back and, you know, everything's pretty much back to normal. Hiei is in the demon world, you know, and etc. You know, Kurama going back to his semi, you know, demon human life and Kuwabara pretty much enjoying his normal life as a teenager being in high school. What if this series, a brand new series, picks up where Yusuke is dragged back to the demon world tournament? Because remember, in the uh, Three Kings saga, they used K himself set up a rule uh, not not use K the guy who won the tournament uh, I think his name was Enki who won the tournament and the original series said that we're going to do this every three years so let's say use K gets dragged back into it because you know everybody wants to have their chance to fight use K uh, again in the demon world tournament like let's say he's having a normal life let's say four or five years pass and somebody wants to bring Yusuke back into the fold, maybe a brand new enemy, maybe even bring back the original spirit detective, the female spirit detective, I forgot her name, her name escapes me right now. Maybe bring her back, maybe have a plot where, you know, they kidnap her children or something and she has to be dragged to the Demon World Tournament and maybe, you know, uh, something along with Yusuke. I mean, you know, I know it's kind of like a rehash of like, you know, to grow a force and Yusuke and Kovar to be in a dark tournament. But I think it'd be interesting to see uh, Yusuke being pulled back into that world because he said something interesting at the end of the series to Kuwabara. Remember the fin kind of the uh, final shots? Um, Kuwabara, you know, he was playing around with Yusuke saying, you know, hey, you're, you're back and etc. And, you know, uh, Yusuke said something on the lines of, not worth a word, you know, but he said something like, you know, uh, I might have to go back there because you, cause Kuwabara said something about being a demon king and he said you might have to go back there. So I, when I saw that scene, I said, hmm, that would be interesting if you know, if Yusuke had to be pulled back and maybe have to, you know, um, go back to the demon world, go back to the, the old Ryzen tribe and, you know, expand on some things there. Another interesting thing is he ain't, he is character development. He ain't never pretty much uh, confessed that he was Yukino's brother. I think they can go back and do a little mini arc on he ain't and etc. Uh, he ain't finally giving her the, the fucking necklace and him finally not being a goddamn bitch and tell her, hey, listen, your brother's not dead. I'm right here. I've been watching over you. As far as Kuwabara, I think it would be interesting if they show Kuwabara in a slice of life kind of thing, but also have him fight various enemies that pop up. Because remember, they have this kind of semi-human and demon world truce where some demons will come in and some humans will get lost and they'll bring the humans back. Maybe somebody, a group of humans and demons, band together, maybe Kuwabara can handle that. Maybe Karama might help out because he's trying to do the normal thing. I think it would be interesting to kind of like explore the characters further, you know, make them a little bit older. Like I said, the original manga and anime had a great fucking story and ending, 
but I think there's some possibilities there to expand on Yu Yu Hakusho. So, I mean, I'm just, you know, rambling here. But anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Do you think Yu Yu Hakusho could come back as a sequel series or revival kind of thing? And uh, let me know your ideas for new stories and etc. So, uh, I'm Beat Dub the Anime Master. Follow me on Twitter. Check out my Facebook fan page. Check out the links below. Stay tuned for more anime, manga, and video game related videos. Once again, I'm B Dub the Anime Master. Peace. B Z the Anime One Master. Here we go. The Anime Master. Nigga. Dragon Ball Z the Anime Master. Here we go. The Anime.